So we, we are looking for to formulate a solving optimization problem. In this case, we have a window. There are 12 meters of framing. So framing meaning that H, there is another H here, two R here, two radius here, and circumference of semicircle. All of this would be 12 meters. Now the question asks me express the area of window as a function of r uh, again they give me some ideas that remember area of semicircle is pi r squared divided by 2 and its perimeter is pi times r the next part the question asks me to find the area and we are looking actually where the maximum area is happening and then the very last part of it is budget related and we have limited budget so and the first thing I want to do, I want to set up the equations for this problem. How we set up the equations? So let me just to move on to the whiteboard. So 12 meter of framing. So what does this mean? This means that if I have 2R down here, I have 2R here, I have 2H here, 1H here, 1H here, and circumference of semicircle is pi R, right? So I can say 2R plus 2H plus pi r is equal to 12. Um, now in this, I'm going to go over the problem one more time. The question asks me area of window as a function of r, so r only. So I it should not have any h. So how to get rid of the h? In this equation, I can calculate the h in terms of r, and that would be h is equal to 12 minus 2r minus pi r so this is again 2h is equal to this 12 minus 2r minus pi r so you just bring them to the other side sorry minus uh, 2h is equal to 12 minus 2r minus pi r then you can say h is equal to again you divide this by 2 and then will be 12 minus 2r minus pi r pi r divided by 2. So consider this equation for the beginning. Now what would be the equation for the area? So area is equal to area of the triangle, sorry, area of the rectangle, area of the rectangle which is going to be base times height, which is going to be 2rh, this is for the rectangle, plus the area of the semicircle. So semicircle is already given to me, pi r square divided by two. So this is actually the equation for the area. Now I wanna go to back to Excel and uh, give me some values, give me some hints to calculate the area. So again, I'm done with the first part of the problem. Say that find the equation of area. In terms of R only, if you put H here, it will be in terms of R only, but I don't want to do that. That's going to be a headache. Let's Excel do the job for us. So I move on to Excel. Okay, in a new sheet. So let me just to bring both of them to the screen so we can see both at the same time. Going back to the sheet. The question asks me to calculate the area between 0 0.5 to 2 with the resolution of 0 0.1. Do you see that? 0 0.5, 6, and then go all the way to 2. So let's do that. So I want to find the value for R, which is going to go from, um, okay, if you consider that, it start from 0 0.5, go all the way to 2. So the radius, I assume the radius is 0 0.5 meter, and going to go to with the resolution of 0 0.1. So plus. 0 0.1 so this will generate the number given on that table two more and this is going to be two okay if i know the value of r i can calculate the value of h right because i have the equation for it so what is the equation for h you can see this here right so the value for h is it again I'm gonna just type it in here so I know h is equal to um, again instead of doing this dumb I can just type it in here so is equal to so what is the equation you can see everything in numerator is divided by 2 so open a parenthesis in the beginning of it right because everything will be divided by 2 12 minus 
2 times r which is this one minus pi okay pi is simply pi okay pi parentheses parentheses if you do pi parentheses parentheses that's meaning the meaning of pi so you don't need to put 3.14 times r which is this one and this will be divided by so this will give again if you assume your r as 0.5 your h will be 4.7 remember we have a limitation the whole perimeter of everything is simply um, the, the the whole perimeter of everything is 12 you have 12 meter of frame if i just plot r with respect to h i can just show you what's happening um, again go to insert do a scatter plot now in this is scatter plot you can see if you assume the r as 0.5 the h will be 4.5 again you have in this case you have the example of what i said you have a narrow types of uh, window so your base is very narrow and then oh yes height no, is going to be so much. please don't interrupt me i finished the recording then uh, if i go to the end at the end i have a very high i can say very big uh, radius but short height, right? So you have two different cases of R. So let me just to finish the calculation for uh, the area and then I will be back to your questions. So the area here, okay, the equation of the area I have is two times R, so is equal to two times R times H. Okay, we are good with this so far, plus the pi is simply pi, parentheses open, parentheses close, times r, which is going to be this one, to the power of 2, plus, sorry, pi, pi r squared divided by 2. Okay, I just want to check the equation. 2rh plus pi r to the power of 2 divided by 2. This is the area. Now I can actually... Now, if you, if you are interested to see the scatter plot of R with respect to H, you just select the R, the column for R, hit the control, uh, select the data for area, then you go to insert, uh, go to a scatter plot, then you would see the scatter plot. Okay, somewhere you reach to maximum, and that's maximum happening in area of 1.6 or, again, let's just observe the data to see in the data where is the maximum happening. Uh, the maximum area I have, the maximum area I have is 10.03, which is happening in 1.7. So if you have your uh, radius as 1.7 at the height of 1.6, where this is where we have uh, the maximum area.